Hello, and welcome to another edition of True Audio Files. Uh, this week, or I should say, um, it's probably might be two episodes coming out this week, but uh, for this episode, anyways, I wanted to talk about the proliferation of different variations of the same album that are coming out uh, for on record on vinyl uh, for new releases. You know, it's it's uh, it's been happening for a while now, but it just seems to be getting gaining more and more traction and I think getting more and more ridiculous. Uh, I think most noticeably uh, it was done on McCartney, Paul McCartney's McCartney 3 album. They had all kinds of different variations. I think there was up to like seven or eight different variations and everybody was just buying up every single one of them. Um, but ever, and ever since then, it's just been kind of taken off. You know, Taylor Swift is definitely probably the other most notable one for doing this lately. Uh, you know, she's had at least four or five different variations of her albums come out on vinyl minimum, if not six or seven. And, you know, all of them are selling out instantly when uh, they come out on, on record um, because of her fan base and how big of a fan they are of hers. Uh, but the uh, ones that have come to mind recently are uh, Green Day's newest album. I think there's probably eight or nine variations of that one. Just is amazing to me. And I've seen people that are buying all of those, you know, and they're $30, $40 a piece. So you're talking, you know, good $300 possibly for getting every single version of that album. Uh, so one album, all the same songs, eight, nine variations, and you're spending three, $400 on them. So, or, or two, $300, whatever it might be. Uh, but the latest one is from one of my favorite artists, Ace Freely, and he's been doing it quite a bit lately as well. But in, and the reason why, I'm doing this video is probably mainly because of his and the craziness that's uh, come from that. And uh, basically, he has 14 versions available now, and there's going to be a 15th one for Record Store Day because they're making a picture disc version. But it's of his latest album, which is 10,000 Volts. There's uh, three different, or I guess four different color, ver I mean, uh, cover variants. And I'm gullible. I bought the cover variants, but I haven't gone. I'm not getting all 15 ver versions of the album. But there was this one, uh, which was only available on his site, which was the first cover variation to the, the original variation. It also came on uh, silver vinyl. Uh, most of his, a lot of his variations came in a splatter vinyl, which I really love. But anyway, so there's that. Uh, this was the second variation, which... All of these are based on songs that are on the album. So that last one was for the actual song, 10,000 Volts. This is for the song, Walking on the Moon. And so that's cover variant number two, the third, but the third version of the album. This one is on uh, Solar Flare Vinyl. It's actually kind of a cool color. It's one of the few that aren't splatter, um, but kind of almost, you know, looks like the sun maybe. <laughs> uh, and the other interesting thing is basically everything about these are the same except for the cover and the color of the vinyl. Uh, everything else, the gatefold, everything is still the same. Uh, and then this is the third variant. Uh, maybe there'll be another variant, but this is uh, for the song Cherry Medicine. Uh, this is his girlfriend, by the way. But anyway, this is the third variant. This one is on a splatter as well. I guess I can show that also. Just to kind of give you an idea. Um, it's hard to tell, but there's actually two different colors of the vinyl itself. And then the splatter is all red and blue. But that's that's the other color variant that's out there as well. Um, but, you know, so he's got 15 albums. And these are going, or 15 variations, I'm sorry. And these are going for at least $30 a piece. So anyone that's wanting to buy all of them, they're needing to spend four or $500 on one album. <laughs> Uh, I just think it's crazy. I mean, I've already spent more than I should have just on the, I think I got five variations of it and, uh, I'm done. <laughs> Trust me. I spent more than I should have on the ones I got, but I'm happy I got them. And especially since I really enjoy the album. So it was, uh, kind of worth it to me. I like to, uh, support the artist as much as possible, but, uh, I'm not going to support him by buying 15 versions of the same album. So I'm kind of curious what your thoughts are. What Are you uh, getting a little sick of all the color variants that are coming out there? You know, uh, some other ones that come to mind are um, Olivia Rodrigo did the kind of the same thing with hers. There were uh, 
a couple different cover variations. Plus, she had some on her site that had um, special tracks. There were four different versions on her uh, site where they came out with that each one had a different bonus track on the vinyl. And Taylor Swift's kind of doing the same thing with her new album that's coming out in, I want to say it's April or May, I can't remember now. I think it's April, where she's coming out with different versions of the record with bonus tracks. She did that on uh, her last album, uh, I think it was Midnight, or yeah, I think it was Midnight's, um, had a, a bonus track on the Target version. Um, I could be mistaking it for her 1989, but anyways, regardless, you know, that's kind of been the, the growing trend. And, you know, I've seen like 21 Pilots has three different color exclusives on their website for her, his new, their new album that's coming out, uh, plus the black vinyl. And you're just seeing that a lot more nowadays. So, you know, pe people are spending several hundred dollars to get every single variation from their biggest, from their favorite artists. So, I don't know. Uh, I get it completely. Uh, it's a good way to generate some income that you were probably not likely going to get otherwise. Um, but it's just getting a little overkill. I, I think two, three, maybe four variations is fine. But once you start getting into that eight to 10 to 15 different variations, it starts to get a little crazy. So, but I'd love to hear your take. I mean, what are your thoughts? I mean, do you think that this whole thing with the different cover variations and color variations and uh, things like that are, are getting out of control? Or do you think that it's just something that is a necessary evil uh, to get the artists the income that they are not getting like they used to uh, because the record industry has changed so much? But I don't know, I'd love to hear your take. What are your thoughts on that? Let me know in the comment section on this video. So that's everything I have for this episode. I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, I uh, want to thank you if you subscribe to my channel. If you don't subscribe, please do so. I would love to get some subscribers. Uh, hit that like button if you liked this video. Make some comments in the comment section like I would mentioned. And if you want to see when my new videos come out, hit that alert bell and it'll let you know. So that's everything I have for this episode. I hope you're having a great day. I hope you have a great rest of your day. And I hope you have a great rest of your week. So that's it. Thanks a lot.